Greetings. We launched our flagship Safe Cities Global Initiative to encourage innovative, locally owned and sustainable approaches to prevent and respond to sexual harassment and other forms of violence against women in public spaces. Today, we can share many successful stories around the world from these cities. 21 cities and counting have now joined the Safe Cities Initiative. But perhaps the most important result is that together with our many partner cities, women's groups, civil society, UN sister agencies, and the donor community, we have ensured that ending violence against women in public space is part of the new development architecture for the next decades. Our market should be a good place to market. And such things like sexual harassment or violence against women or, or people fighting young boys against other young boys, it should not happen in here. Les filles sont victimes de violences physiques, de violences verbales, de harcèlement sexuel dans les espaces publics, tous les espaces publics, euh, quels qu'ils soient, dans les administrations, dans, 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 dans la rue, dans les bus, dans les taxis, euh, sur les plages, dans les cafés. The collaboration with the UN Women's Global Initiative allows us to identify what those obstacles might be and develop ideas for solving them. Uh, there have been a couple of uh, very interesting uh, steps that have resulted in key milestones. One of them is the creation of the baseline data, which has been unique, which has been on scale and which really brought the attention of policymakers and the public at large to the issue of women's safety. Uh, the second issue was also looking at the issue beyond just uh, the Department of Women and Child, that it was not the responsibility of women alone to look at issues of women's safety. It, it is a concern of everybody in the government and everyone in society. My is Morina. لسه بدرس في كلية أداب وباجي هنا مع سيف أورجنايزيشن إحنا جايين نعلم الأطفال نديهم توعية عن التحرش الجنسي للأطفال ويهمنا قوي إن هما يوصل لهم إن هما لازم يقولوا لأ ويبلغوا وإن هما ما يسكتوش لأشون هما غاليين قوي النشاط بيختلف من سن لسن بالنسبة للكبار بنلجأ أكتر إن هما يطلعوا كل حاجة جواهم Before the Safe Cities program started uh, working in Gareho Market as its first pilot, there was an illegal shelter set up here, and there was an illegal fence also being built all around the toilets, which obviously prevented anybody else from seeing what was going on. So what we've designed is an area that allows for more light to come in, and then chairs that are more comfortable for the vendors, and they can get in and out easily to protect their goods and sell with more ease. El acuerdo de partenariado con ONUFAM consiste en introducir en nuestros programas de formación una parte específica que se refiere a cómo reaccionar ante casos de, de acoso contra las mujeres en el interior de los autobuses. The event of today shows once again how creative arts play a key role in making our common message stronger and more effective. The UN Women have been working inside Law Partnership one time. Uh, NCDC Law provide money in our space, Law build a nuclear facilities here, also in toilet, in our nuclear banners, in our kind, kind of something inside Law Market. La iniciativa Ciudades y Espacios Públicos Seguros, Safe Cities, es un referente de la cooperación española en los últimos años. 
de la misma manera que también las cuestiones de género han influido y han eh, marcado el devenir de la cooperación española en los últimos 30 años. Experiencias en ciudades como Rabat, Maputo, Cape Town, Ciudad del Cabo, eh, nos indican eh, por dónde tenemos que transitar. Espacios libres, espacios públicos donde las niñas, las adolescentes, las mujeres puedan ir y volver a su casa libres, puedan eh, montarse en transportes públicos sin peligro, puedan disfrutar de los jardines en las mismas condiciones, con las mismas garantías que los hombres. Para la Agenda 2030, para crear sociedades inclusivas, mujeres, niñas, adolescentes tienen que tener los mismos derechos que nosotros y ser socios, amigos y aliados en este desarrollo que pretendemos. Este programa eh, va a ser declarado como un programa emblemático de la ciudad de Quito por el municipio, pero además de eso, no solamente en Quito. Yo creo que este es un programa que deberíamos hacerlo en todas las ciudades.